This week we're at Forest Home. Check it out. Forest Home began as the dream of Henrietta Mears, whose love for the Lord brought this camp to life. Henrietta and her friends along the way created a place where people could simply be in relationship and seek God together. A legacy was carved into this mountain. Lives were changed. And Forest Home continues to be a place where people encounter Jesus, experience transformation, and engage the world. And this is my second time here at Forest Home with my mom, and I have a Bible verse for you. Dear friends, let us love one another, for love, ones come, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. Awaken from my sleep, you call me to the We've got about 230 individual buildings right now. We have 1,800 beds. We have various camp centers. Adventure Mountain! Welcome to Adventure Mountain. This is one of the seven camp centers at Forest Home, each with its own theme and personality. In the summer, five of these camp centers will run a different age group, and they each have their own individual summer programming theme. We've got, we've got two to four staff whose only job is take care of summer staff. You know, make them cookies and weird stuff like that, so. What do you call that position? Staff dean. We, we have, for just our program camps, we have a male and female staff dean. Their responsibility is they do a Sunday afternoon program to like pep rally, message worship, they show a camp video, they do a weekly newsletter of here's the happenings and here's what's going on and here's highlighting three different summer staff. And then they do a lot of just meetings. It's like, oh hey, let's go meet and check. Like, what's going on in your life? How can I pray for you? There's very few places in this world that I think you can have a a huge sizable impact on campers lives no matter what age group it is you can have a sizable impact on your fellow staff members lives but then most importantly you walk away fully changed every single summer that you come up here and I think those are three reasons that keep bringing me and like other returners back every summer and everything else could change about Forest Home but those are the things that we always focus on the most and that's why we have veterans returning for five six seven years in a row At Forest Home, they have retreats for mothers and sons, mothers and daughters, fathers and daughters, and fathers and sons. And I have never really experienced a parent retreat before, but I think they are my new favorite thing. So cool to be able to connect kids with their parents and God and give them a new perspective for how they'll work together as a family. Yeah, so um, we provide a lot of opportunities for family activities and shared positive experiences. And so um, at family camp, you're not just going to be separated from your kids. You're going to be around them. Uh, that's going to be inevitable. And you're going to be around a bunch of people in different life stages who either have kids currently or have had kids or are going to have kids. And so everyone is this community of understanding, um, which is really nice because it takes the pressure off. When your kid throws a tantrum, we're like, yeah, we know. And everyone knows, and we are okay with that. Um, you get the opportunity to encourage them and to spend time with them and get to know the things that they're good at, their strengths and their weaknesses, encourage them, help them, grow them. And then our staff here also encourage that. And so they're facilitators of good relationships with your kids. So we're gonna help um, by modeling 
complimenting your children and encouraging them in appropriate ways and in finding the positives in your kid when it's hard to see. Um, and so I think it's just a really neat atmosphere for that. Um, so part of what we do at Forest Home is that we uh, partner with churches um, locally. We have churches all across Southern California, even into Arizona and Nevada. Um, and we have a unique approach of um, just really developing a partnership with churches and um, developing a relationship with them. Um, and that is really crucial to what we do here. Um, we're very relational. so. Um, throughout the year, we are checking in with them. Um, we get to know them. I've become like close friends with several youth pastors. Um, yeah. And why we do that, um, we truly believe that those youth pastors and those counselors are with those kids um, 51 weeks a year that we're not present. And so we want to set up those youth pastors and those counselors to have really good relationships. So there we get camp as kind of a catalyst into the rest of the year, whether that's the beginning of the school year, whether that's the beginning of the summer. We want to send them home um, with deeper relationships with their students. Hey guys, this is the part where we look at our forest home friends and say thank you for everything that you did for us while we were here. Y'all are the best. I had so much fun helping with the Mother Sun Retreat and we've never seen a retreat like that before. Um, everything here has taught us so much. Just We've never seen a camp of this scale, this biggest one we've been to. And you guys have just reached out, taught us a lot of things and I think this has been awesome for our trip and for our experience. Yeah, thanks for letting us get our hands dirty this week. <laughs> get was, some work done. Yeah, it was cool to, to get to be a part of it, at least for a little while. I can't wait to see what you guys have coming down the road. They're building something huge over there right now. You have lots of new things coming, and there's good stuff in your future. We'll see you all later.